Uh, Coach, uh, good afternoon. Dequeez Carter's coming in this this uh, summer. He's was a very productive player over at Fordham. What does he bring to the room as a veteran and as somebody who has been through the wars of college football? Um, maturity, you know. Again, you said he's he's a grad transfer, um, you know. So there's a he's got a great, um, just mature presence about him. Uh, really positive guy. He's 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 really kind of um, really fit in with our team really fast, you know. Um, you know he's really smart. Obviously coming from Fordham, you would assume that. Um, but he, he's really kind of picked up what we're doing, how how we do things. He's perfect for for what our culture is here, um, and he, he's fit in our locker room really well. Hey, Coach, um, obviously you, you didn't get to coach uh, Kim Camper last year and not really in the spring because he was still out. Um, when you watch him on tape, I guess, you know, what did you like about him? Then, you know, I, I know he's kind of on a pitch count, a little bit limited right now, but what have you liked about how fall camp started for him? I think Cam's been great, you know, and I knew about Cam um, before I got here just uh, through recruiting. You know, I had, had an opportunity to evaluate him um, before he, you know, chose to come here. Um, Cam's been a um, great, great leader, great model in our room. Uh, obviously, um, you know, he, he's made his way back and worked really, really hard, and um, he's, he's looked great. I've been really pleased with Cam. Yeah, Coach, I had two for you. Um, with E.J. Williams, was there anything that you saw from watching film of him? You know, he had that breakout freshman year and kind of took a step back the next two years. That, that Anything you saw that held him back? And then how much, uh, the second question would be, how much do you get to work with Jalen Lucas and um, how much do you think his skill set kind of fits into what you guys want to do at, at slot receiver uh, from him getting reps there? Um, well, with your first question about E.J., um, you know, I, I really wasn't that familiar with EJ before I got here, um, but I had an opportunity to spend, you know, the last what, eight months with him, you know, going through spring ball, pre-spring. Um, he's had a great summer uh, and, and uh, somebody that's really, really come along. Again, another guy that fit, fits really well into, into who we are as a program. Um, really excited about, about EJ and, and where he is in his development right now and, um, you know, what, I, what we think his ceiling is. Um, with J. Lou, obviously J. Lou is a really dynamic football player for us. Um, so, I mean, whether it's lined up in the backfield, uh, spending time in, in, in different, you know, di trying to find different ways for him to touch the football, uh, we're definitely, we're definitely going to do that. Hi, Coach. You talked about um, E.J. Williams and his ceiling being really high. What's exactly the process of getting him to reach that ceiling this season for you guys? Say that last part again. What's the process of getting EJ Williams to kind of reach that ceiling that you talked about a little bit earlier? Well, I, th I think um, it was alluded kind of to him earlier. Is you know earlier in his career he played a little bit more, um, and so just you know in order to be to get good at football, you got to play football, you know, um, and so uh, and he and he's got a ton of reps since he's been here. Um, he's been you know he's been in our, our off season program. He's been through spring, um, and, and so. I think he's in a really prime position, you know, as you know, in his development and, and what he's doing for us, um, you know, to get kind of what he came here to do, and, and that's just kind of to, to change gears and, and, and a new new scenery and, and go finish his career somewhere else, you know. So I thought he's done he's done a great job. I know you weren't here last year when Cam was kind of talking about navigating new program, figuring out his role, all those things, but how have you seen him maybe? navigate the challenge of you know personally trying to get healthy go through his rehabilitation do all that stuff right while maybe trying to be one of those guys that's obviously one of the more proven returning players maybe a guy that wants to be a little bit more vocal than he was a year ago and just kind of balancing what the team needs from him while he's obviously getting healthy well you know like you said i, I wasn't here so I, I wasn't a part of the the beginning part of that um, but i have seen um you know his investment you know since i've been here um, you know, he is, he's highly invested in, in, in our program, highly invested in that room. He does have a, a voice and a presence on our team. Our team respects him. He, you know, he, he is a leader in our room, you know, in, in the receiver room. Um, you know, but he had his own things that he needed to work through. And, I mean, he's been ahead of schedule on everything. You know, so that's a, that's a great, um, you know, that's attributed to who he is as a person and why he fits in our program so well. Because um, he's worked so hard, um, you know, to make his way back through that, and those are things that he, he had to deal with. And and I, you know, just from my estimation, he's done a great job from what I've seen. Um, 
and he continues to do a great job. Coach uh, Cameron Perry is just a redshirt freshman, but has you know stood out spring and, and this fall. Just how much growth have you seen from him, both on and off the field, since you got here, and how much do you feel like he'll be able to contribute this year? Um, Cam, I mean Cam is, I mean every day, every day. Uh, there's something that that um, that he's getting better at. There's a bunch of different things. You know, when you're a young guy, there's a ton of different things, especially with what our defense does. Our defense challenges, you know, everyone, um, and especially if you're a young player um, that that. The last real football that you've played was in high school, so every single day is is um, has been great for Cam. And, and I, again, from the beginning to now, from where he was when I got here to where he is now, from what I'm seeing, um, I mean, he's he's just steady coming along more and more, and he's just kind of um, you know stacking you know days on top of days, good days on top of days, and then you know again he's. A highly motivated guy. He's got really good work ethic. He's always doing things on his own. Um, he's texting me and asking me questions about certain things because he's really inquisitive and he wants, you know, he loves being here. Um, he loves being a part of this team. Um, and, and, you know, his his development from, from when I got here to where he is now is, to me, is night and day. Um, but every day is really important for those young guys, as it is everyone else. Yeah, Coach, what two or three guys have really impressed you the most? As you guys have gotten gotten into some more things in fall camp, um, I don't know if it's two or three guys. I mean, we we have a a, a big group, um, a big group, which is good because we didn't have a big group in spring uh, for a number of different, you know, a bunch of different reasons. Whether it's a you know uh, Dequeese coming here in this in the you know late in um, early in the summer, um, but you know. Donovan McCulley's had a, you know, had a, had a really good springs, had a strong fall camp. Um, Anderson Kobe has done a great job for us. Um, you know, Dequeese has done a great job. Cam Perry's done a great job. Um, you know, uh, Cam Camper's coming along. Uh, you know, Omar Cooper. I mean, I can go down the list of guys, and there's a ton of competition in, in our room, and that's why, you know, I can't narrow it down to one or two guys that have impressed me the most at this point because I feel like they're all showing up every single day and competing. Um, and, and so when you have a big group like that, that's, that's going on show, you know, coming in and showing up and it's not just two guys that are emerging, well, then that really bodes well for the group, you know, collectively. So. Uh, thanks, Coach. Yep. Thanks, guys.